Oh yes, hello viewers. Once again, welcome here at Kesa Projects. Remember, Kesa Projects home for entrepreneurs located here in Komamboga, Okumakaga, along the other road. This video is all about body lotion cream production and the general business. Especially, we are going to talk about moisturizing lotion. You know, when it comes to moisturizers, sometimes the oil-based body cream is just too oily. It is dense and heavy, and it leaves you shiny and greasy. They might trick you into thinking it's light and fluffy by wiping it. But in the end, it is just still a pot of oils. Our recipe is a great introduction to oil water immersion. Quick, easy, and beautifully light weight, just like the way you're going to see us manufacturing it right now. However, those who are interested in such training, like those who are interested to enroll into our body creams and lotion course, our training fee is still standing at a few of Ghana shillings. 250,000 Ghanaian shillings or 75 US dollars. Let me just light you a little bit about emulsifying wax, which is going to be our major ingredient in the course of manufacturing this lotion. Perhaps you could be worrying what the hell is emulsifying wax, and this is where we say bless yourself. This recipe is not 100% natural. That might turn you off, and I totally get that. If it were possible to make a similar lotion with all natural ingredients, trust Kesa Projects, it would. But before you click the X, let's just justify ourselves. A common formula of emulsifying wax involves cetacetyl, alcohol, and polysorbate. You can also get a plant-derived version called Biomargion. We have successfully used both of the above-stated emulsifying waxes. In the recipe, please note, however, that not every emulsifying wax can be used with the same ratios of oils and water. Please consult the company's instructions if you are using another brand of emulsifying wax, particularly if you are using a planned live emulsifying wax as these tend to be more thinky. What emulsifying wax does that no other natural ingredient can do is, emul it is that it emulsifies more twice as much water into the oil, two to three parts water and one part oil. Oh wow! Making a light grease-free lotion. You will love this recipe if you like to use lightweight commercial body lotions for any purpose. That's why we urge you that you have to subscribe to this YouTube channel for such wonderful videos. However, trainings are only done at our center here in Komamboga Okumukaga along Gaza Road. These videos are just for demonstration purposes but we shall not be giving you the amounts or the ways of ingredients that we are using and even in some cases we may not mention the ingredients that we are using because these are just meant to demonstrate to you what we do here at our office remember Kesa project is an industrial training center whereby we empower africans with proven commercial formulas concerning production especially production that you can start right away from your Home. However, those who can't afford coming here at our center for physical training can order for special training and send you someone to come and train you from your home, even when you are not based in Uganda. However, those who can't afford hiring a trainer away from office to come and train you from your physical location, you can still enroll for our online classes and our training fee for body creams and lotion is still standing at a few of Ugandan shillings, 75, no, at a few of US dollars, 75, or Ugandan shillings, 250. Thousand. Let's talk about emulsion. All water emulsion prevent two basic challenges. One is getting the base oil and water to hang out peacefully. That's what the emulsifying wax does for us. Problem solved. Challenge two is preventing spoilage. When we introduce water, we create an environment that molds and bacteria don't mind so much. Some commercial lotions are loaded with preservatives, but Taking a couple precaution and using your lotion with a few months should keep the ink stuff at bay. We are going to use rubbing alcohol to disinfect everything that will touch our lotion. We shall add vitamin E oil and stuff into a squeeze tube or pump bottle so we aren't dipping grubby fingers into the pot and introducing hungry little microbes. Has our lotion gone bad? If it is covered in mold, yes, obviously. Less obviously, if a bacteria colony has made a home in your lotion, it will take on a rather cheesy odor. If it is neither mold nor cheesy smelling, you are good to go. These are some of the things that you will need to start your lotion business. They are not expensive, they are cheap. 